During the past 46 years here at Referee, in addition to publishing 552 editions of this magazine, we have also published hundreds of specialty publications for sports officials. One of my personal favorites is the 2022 edition of Year One, What to Expect in the First 12 Months of Your Officiating. Okay, most of you reading this column this month have a heck of a lot more experience than one year. Me too. But that smallish 40-page publication is just so much fun to dig into. Written by Associate Editor, Editor Scott Titterington, the advice in those pages is not just for newbies. It is a refresher course for any active official, youth, high school, college, and all the way into pro ball. I want to share with you in this limited space some of its contents. Think back to your own year one. The booklet has chapters covering preparation, education, navigation, communication, evaluation, and determination. It also presents a list of do's and don'ts for any first year official, which by the way still ring true for any veteran. Also included is our list of 40 reasons to love officiating, quite a package. My attention was most drawn to material in the determination section titled, You've Got This. How about a mini refresher for all of us? Here are a few excerpts edited for length and clarity. A. At varying points during your first year as a sports official, you are going to ask yourself this question, am I cut out for this? It will pop into your head when you first begin your internal debate about becoming an official. It will likely reappear when you attend your first instructional class. It will definitely make a cameo appearance the first time you are seriously yelled at by a coach or accosted by an unhappy fan. B. At the end of the day, only you can decide whether you have what it takes to be a sports official. Only you can decide if you are willing to work games for relatively low pay while being away from your family. Only you can decide whether the hours of study and preparation are worth it. Only you can decide if the thrill of working a big game and the camaraderie you share with your fellow officials is an acceptable trade-off for the verbal abuse that is inevitably directed at those wearing the officiating attire. C. Know that your first year as an official will be your most challenging. If you choose to survive it, things will go more smoothly from there. You will have already developed a cadre of officiating buddies, and best of all, you will have a full year of officiating under your belt. And D. Remain humble and hardworking. There is still plenty to learn. Continue to find areas where you want to improve and work on them. Use mentors, evaluators, and observers to help you better understand your strengths and your weaknesses. Keep asking questions. E. As you transition into becoming a second year official and beyond, the experiences from year one will be fresh in your mind. Be willing to help out the first year officials who follow in your footsteps. Be willing to show them the ropes and offer tips and guidance about what did and did not work for you. And to close, for new officials, year one is available as part of our Say Yes to Officiating program at sayyestoofficiating.com. The booklet is also available in print through our web store, store.referee.com slash year one, and also through the Referee digital app. Thank you.